Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. I'm fixing to go on a trip. The kids set up this, this excursion for us, four days basically. Um, up in the foothills of the Appalachians, uh, actually uh, northern Georgia, uh, the southern end of the Blue Ridge Mountains, there's a scenic train ride. So we're headed up that way. Um, Hopefully see some leaves changing, I don't know. I think it may be a little late in the season, but it's definitely gonna be cold up there. <laughs> uh, anyway, I've got one bag packed, it's got all my clothes and whatnot in it. But then I've got this bag, I'm not sure what to call it. Probably just a travel essential kit, tech, maybe, I don't know. Travel essential bag, Teb. Um, doesn't really need initials, I guess. Anyway. Some of y'all may recognize this. I got this at, pretty sure I got this at a yard sale. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Um, my, that should be my middle name. <laughs> this is a uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom bag. It holds a lot. And it's, with this wide strap, it's really not heavy at all. So let's, uh, let's get into it. Uh, you notice right off the bat, I've got a bandana it's, it's got a little D, D clip D ring right there I don't know what, it, what it's supposed to be for but it certainly works to have to hold that now in this these are fake in that snap we have a flashlight this bag will ride with me in the front seat of the vehicle that I'm driving in or riding in there's a spare pair of glasses and of course I'll have my other bag as well in case we get out and do any short trips or whatever so anyway that's that bag over here another little bag this is just a thing of handy wipes Natural care wipes. Um, I was picking up a bunch of travel size stuff to, to pack up at Walmart the other day, and they were there. They were two for a buck. So, and it fits in there real nice. Uh, let's see, this side. In here we have uh, hand sanitizer. A little bit of tape and whatnot. One of my usual usuals. And then there's also some other hand cleaner things. Little individual wipes, a couple of alcohol wipes. Traveling with kids, things get messy. You know, you stop stop to grab a, a quick bite on the side of the road or whatever. Not that my daughter does that. She wants to do five-star restaurants. <laughs> uh, um, let's see. All right, this front bag, this front thingy. I have a kniff. I got this one because it's the one that I have that fits the nicest in this bag. And here... I just bought, I just picked up a bunch of these the other day at the flea market, and they actually, they're coming in handy. This one I have uh, some pencils and pens, some Ikea giveaways, and here are, well, there's a little lined notebook, and then there's a handful of these are four by six uh, blank index cards. Just doodle material. I had to cut down about a quarter of an inch on the one edge to make them fit in here easily. They would fit, but they were very tight. And I didn't want that, so I just cut them down a little bit. Took a pair of scissors, chopped them down. See, it's a little difficult to put back in there. Uh, okay. Um, now there's a front zipper pocket here, 
what I put in there. A lot of this I'm going through just to double check that I have stuff that I'm going to need and to try to think up if there's anything else I want to put in here. Because basically I'm going to my daughter's tonight, spending the night, and then we're pulling out at like 4 Friday morning or something like that. So, uh, we have Vicks Vapo Drops um, in cherry flavor. A uh, Frizzle lens type magnifying glass thingy. Folding knife. Deep woods off. Big mini. Uh, USB flash drive. And a small power charger. I'm not sure why I threw them in here. It should be in the. Anyway, we'll, we'll change that in a little bit. And then this little um, multi tool. Better safe than sorry. Now, let's see. In the main compartment, we have my backup camera, phone, internet access device thing. brush. <laughs> I was at Dollar Tree and I was looking for a new brush and I asked this woman, I said, excuse me, is this pink or purple? And she looked at it and she said it's mauve, 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 whatever. And I kind of like, I said, I'm colorblind, I'm serious, is this pink or purple? She says, well that's more pink. If you'd like a purple one, that's over here. And she pulled this one out. So that's what I got. On this, there are two, there are several, not two, there are several um, hair bands just folded like that. That should get me through the, the weekend, four days, whatever we're gonna be going. Extra pair of socks. Another deep woods off. I don't think we're going to need mosquito repellent up in the, the mountains this time of year. Let's see. In this little bag, I took a various medic. Oh, I put. I threw a Gerber in there because I put my daily dosage of medications in each one of these vials or containers or whatever. Um, I get these at Michael's. They come in a big box. They come in a box with a bunch of them. And uh, unfortunately, as I, I what I noticed was sometimes a couple of the pills get stuck, kind of like in in there. So this actually works nicely to pry them up out of the out of the stuck place. And it fits in there easy. So there's that. M&M mm. &M hash. This is my own, uh, my own package, packing, packaging, whatever. Uh, I have uh, plain milk chocolate M&Ms, peanut butter M&Ms, and crispy M&Ms. Double pack. Because well, I don't use a whole, I don't eat a whole lot of it, but you know, occasionally for quick energy that works really well. Oh, yeah. In here, this is a pop treat. If the kids start getting too rowdy, I'll fill them up with sugar. <laughs> uh, um, I popped in my newest knife. I can and then a pair of warm gloves like I said we're going up into the mountains of Tennessee and Georgia and it's supposed to be cold well I've got metal bones 
you know, metal replacement bones in my hand, and there's all kinds of metal plates and screws and whatnot in my wrist, and yeah, gloves. I don't do cold well. I've got metal plates around my head, you know, all around my eye sockets, and you know, just my, my face was totally rebuilt. So I may have problems that way too. I may have to stop and get a get a baklava baklava or whatever the heck it is, a full face mask if we're gonna be riding on that train. But yeah, gloves. Um, we'll be in the mountains of Tennessee or Georgia or somewhere up there anyway. So and running around at night and all, it, I have what five, six, I have eight of the grandkids with us. So just a couple of glow stick things. Oh, more hair bands. Cause you never know. This is a general essentials bag basically a book you know goes into, into a notebook um, in here there is a plastic my plastic uh, knife and, or fork and spoon a couple of my seasonings and some aspirins I just took this right out of my other out of my EDC bag and threw it in here there's a purple um, napkin washcloth thing Another Lumini stick, small magnifying glass, that's it in that one. This is my purple for power, again came right out of my, out of my, my large EDC bag, or medium sized EDC bag, um, it's basically just, it's got a power power bank and cords and whatnot and I'm gonna add in I'm gonna throw that in there too. And a first aid supply. Basically it's just this is just essentials more or less. Um, just a, a quick boo-boo kit. Uh, antiseptic type gel. A rolled bandage for dressing. Um, pain relief balm. If I'm gonna be sitting for hours or walking for hours, I'm gonna end up needing something. Various uh, gauze pads for uh, dressings and there's also a couple of wipes in here. Keep you dropping and losing your stuff now, Doc. You gotta put it all back. Oh. Some more handy wipes, little alcohol wipes and a couple of Nitrite gloves, a roll of tape because this comes in handy a lot more than medical tape does. You can use this in place of medical tape, at least I do. There's a uh, cold medicine, razor knife, actually, multiple razor blades. And then in this, this is just a cap off of something. I don't remember what it was. But I've got a couple of um, anti-diarrheals tablets in here. And I'll have some of my other, I've got a better first aid kit attached to my, to my clothing bag, which, <laughs> uh, Just take it, taking enough clothes for me fills, I mean, it, it's a good sized duffel bag. It's unbelievable. But, uh, I needed, 
you know, uh, socks and sweatpants and sweatshirt and a long, you know, long another long pair of long pants and a couple t-shirts and a couple of heavier shirts and you know a nice outfit if we're going out and yeah it adds up. <laughs> oh, is that all that goes in here? Yes. Anyway. Um, I think not thick. Alright, I think I don't know, I'm pretty well set, I think. I don't think there's a whole lot more I need to add into this. Um, I've got redundancies with my other kit, and then some redundancies in the in the big bag, which I don't know if I'll get a chance to show you all that or not. But like I said, it's mainly just stuff full of clothes, so no big thing there. But, um, uh, yeah, this should be good for riding along as we're going. I've got backup for my phone and... Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, anyway, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to, to share me around on your social media, that'd be fandoculous. If you'd like to check me out at Facebook, Instagram, or Imager, uh, I'll eventually have some links down below. I don't know if we get around to it today or not, or the next couple days for that matter. Um, Yeah, I don't know if their other links will be down there or not either. <laughs> I'm not even going to go ahead on that. Uh, cancer is an insidious disease, folks. Breast cancer has really rocked my world. Uh, so that's the one that I talk about the most. Um, breast cancer is more prominent in women, or more prevalent in women, but it, it does affect men, it does affect children. Um, it doesn't just affect your breast, it can... You know, it can, some, sometimes the first symptom you have will be in one of your lymph nodes in your in your armpit or your neck or in your groin. Um, it'll rock your world. So, did get a little uh, good news earlier today. My daughter-in-law's mother uh, is cancer-free. She's been dealing with breast cancer also. As of now, she is gets free. So it's her second time around with it. Little good news sometimes. Um, if your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. Encourage them to do a buddy check 12. That's what they do around here uh, on the 12th of the month. Uh, every, you know, you're supposed to check your boobies. Yeah, if you're strange, forgive, forget, apologize. You may not get another chance for people. Maybe they won't get another chance. Until I see you all again, I hope you have a fan day. Slotchy, y'all.